हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू वन स्टेप सॉल्यूशन फॉर ऑल योर प्लेसमेंट नीड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टेक्निकल क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर आस्क इन टीसीएस एनक्विटी एग्जामिनेशंस ऑन 28 अक्टूबर इन स्लॉट 1 व्हिच इज स्केड्यूल्ड फ्रॉम 8 एएम टू 11 एएम राइट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट वी हैव आल्सो अपलोडेड टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन वीडियोस of previous slots daily right so you can go through that videos also because the questions are not exact repeat repeating in every slot there is uh, means in alternate slots you can find one or two questions which are repeating or means very very closely uh, uh, related but the pattern is being same when i'll be traversing through the codes which i'll be telling you i'll be telling you that uh, what are the similar questions which were asked in previous slots also so i would suggest you please watch those videos also because the questions will be coming from the same core same pattern only so without wasting much time let's move ahead okay so in this question uh, let me just take this highlighter so that i can help you with this right okay so here is the main function so firstly we will read this so what we understand that num1 equals to 6 and num2 equals to 12 okay then we are calling this calculate functions which is here and we are passing num1 and num2 and we can you can see ampersand is here it means we are passing address of num1 and num2 right so what will happen in this calculate function as uh, uh, the parameter address of number 1 and number 2 that means address of 6 and 12 will be passed here you can see star is used it means they are converted into value here now x will be pointing to 6 and y will be pointing to 12 now what we see here star x equals to star x plus star y what will happen it will actually happen x equals to x plus y what it would be 6 plus 12 that is 18 simple then we have y equals to x minus y y equals to x minus y x is not 6 now Please remember, x is not six now. Now it is eighteen. So eighteen minus y means eighteen minus twelve. So y will be six. Eighteen minus y eighteen minus twelve. So y is six. Now again we have x. X equals to x minus y. So as I told you, we will use the latest value. Latest value of x is eighteen, and latest value of y is six. So when we do these calculations, we will finally have x as twelve. And y as six. Initially, x was six and y was twelve. So the values are swapped, and six twelve has become twelve six. So output here would be we can see that simple output. There is a space between, so output would be we have to write it in the box which will be given twelve space six. Okay. Now coming to this question, we can see uh, it is a C program. Int i equals to minus one. Do loop is used. It means it is. Uh, it will check the condition after executing the statement at least once. So what will happen? Do hello C will be printed for one time, right? So one time hello C is printed. Now what is happening? Now we will check the condition. The condition is saying while i plus plus. Currently i is minus one. Here what will happen? since it is post increment so here value of minus 1 will be only used although i will become zero after this after i plus plus i will become zero but here since it is post increment so in condition only value of i not incremented value the original value of i will be used that is while minus one. so in condition if there is our numbers are passed as condition so if it is zero then only condition is false otherwise it is true for all positive and negative numbers so while minus 1 will be true true it means again loop will go here loop will go here again what will be printed hello c will be printed again twice means second time okay when i write two please understand it as hello c and then no space in between again hello c in the same manner as capital dress small and then c capital and no space between first and second hello c now what will happen now i i was uh, uh, initially has become zero because uh, as i told you minus 1 was used last time but Minus one plus would happen, and I will become zero. So here, while zero, as I told you, while zero means condition is false. So loop will terminate. Output would be hello C, 
no space hello c this is what it denote i am not writing it because the writing won't be that good i am using this as pad of laptop okay so i don't think this question requires any explanations because it is related to software development and uh, i don't know why this is asked because it's not very common thing even if you search it on internet you won't be easily finding it in your first or second results only right so i don't know why this is asked it's uh, firstly it is not that much famous also because in google also you won't be finding it in uh, uh, one way another thing is that although if it might be uh, not uh, might be common but it's not common uh, it means students not have known about this spray although the students uh, the csit students who have studied software engineering they also never got to know about this spray but i don't know why they are asking uh, about computer networks and this software engineering very very detail sometimes they are asking very uh, easy ones like white box and black box testing in our previous video as i told you but here they are asking these things so see this is a full form so i it don't require any uh, i can say any explanation because it would uh, directly but i can tell you some tricks that if you get this kind of question because they are asking how will you able to crack it what you do first you go for odd one out you see specification here 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 same so it means with using this first word we can't do this odd one out now we have premeditation premeditation into programming and programming into also can't be we can do odd one out because both are available same number of times twice now we have repeatability 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 and randomization it means this is which is odd one out then uh, what we can see we have economy evolution economy economy means this is uncommon now we are left with these two only a and c now when we compare uh, a and c what we will find that uh, everything is same except this premeditation or programming which were same number of times when we saw here two times premeditation two times programming so now here i think your luck will work because uh, you will going to mark any one of them but i told you the how you can reduce and increase the, the uh, probability of your answer to be correct because initially it was 25% but now it's 50% now i would i also going to tell you the exact correct answer of this because i have uh, come, uh, done with telling you the technique so correct answer is for spray as generic structure testing approaches a specification then premeditation repeatability accountability and finally economy okay so here we have a pseudo code uh, pseudo codes are not much asked uh, the questions were are uh, uh, commonly uh, majorly asked from c and java only but here we have a pseudo code uh, we had today so we can see x equals 10 y equals 12 and z is 8 and num is 0 okay so firstly it is saying x less than y 10 less than 12 yes true x less than z 10 less than 8 no and condition is there both condition need to be true then only it will get inside this if so it means this will not this is false because this condition and condition will become false now we will come here because this is nested if statement if this not run then we are coming here also even if this run this runs still we will come here okay so here what we will see if y less than x 12 less than 10 12 less than 10 no false so this is also wrong now if z less than x 8 less than 10 true z less than y 8 less than 12 true both condition are true so num will be assigned the value of z that is 8 and finally what will be printed num that is 8 what would be the optimal approach for this question you can see here nested if is used so even if this condition was true this condition was true is still whatever the last value num will get that will be printed because these are not nested if else even if this is true is still this have all the if will execute so what we can do for uh, best result we will check if they are nested if not nested if else if they are nested if statement we will go from bottom to up approach we will check this one if this is true it means final value of num will be 8 this is printed if this would be false in case in any other question then we will go here if that is true then we will take that value because we know that all the if statement will execute and final value which will uh, be assigned to num that will be printed okay 
so there is a question on data structure also if user wants to store data in linear structure then which one is not suitable to implant this logic linear structure q is linear linked list is linear array is linear okay uh, a string can be yeah can't be called as linear but graph is not linear it is network like or whatever you can say non linear you can say if you have read that uh, data structure classification also then there also we have primitive and non primitive data types and then in non primitive we have linear and non linear so graph is non linear so what is asking if user wants to store data in linear structure then which one is not suitable so this graph is not suitable this is not suitable so answer is actually this i have marked those three because they are suitable that doesn't mean that those three are right answer is graph because it is not suitable it is non linear data structure okay in a doubly circular linked list what will be the contents of right address instead of last node doubly circular linked list um i will make it here it is doubly linked list so okay to uh, this will be node this will be address to next this will be address to previous then we have one more and we have one more okay so what is this this is doubly linked list to make is doubly circular what we will do we will point the address of last node to the first node so now it is doubly circular linked list so what we are having in front of us is a doubly circular linked list because why how it became doubly circular linked list the last node of the doubly linked list is pointing to first node of that same doubly linked list that's why it became a circular linked list in a circular manner in a loop so the same question is was also asked what will be the contents of right address field of last node so content of right address field of last node will be actually the address of first node so this is the correct option if it would not have been circular link uh, linked list if it was only doubly linked list then it would the answer would have been null but not this time garbage value no and depends on user also not okay so now we have this question when we implement queue by using link list then insertion from beginning and deletion from end insertion from end and deletion from beginning insertion and deletion both from beginning insertion and deletion both from end so what happens when we work with queue we insertion is done from the back end and deletion is done from front end so the option similar to this statement is insertion from end and deletion from beginning this is true for queue for a stack the statement would be insertion and deletion both from beginning if it would have been stack then answer answer would be this okay and i would also suggest you to please read about doubly ended queue sorry double ended queue because uh, questions are also asked with that but uh, and i would like to tell you from stack and queue in every slot questions are being asked so here uh, i am ending this video these were the questions which students face in slot 1 of today's today's uh, thesis nqt and i would also suggest you to please go through the videos the previous video which i have uploaded of technical questions so you can go through them and prepare uh, prepare well for your test if you have not yet done uh, please prepare if you are done with it you can check uh, how many answers of yours are correct so students best of luck thank you